Kevin, I thank you so much for giving me a chance one more time to talk to you this time. Wrapping up the, uh, the big weekend, Floyd and Connor. Uh, congratulations to your nephew, Floyd Mayweather, for coming through with a, a victory there. First question, it seems to me, and to most people, the fight was stopped early. Uh, tenth round, he didn't absorb that much damage. Do you think that the, the stoppage was justified, and if so, why? Because if they wouldn't have stopped it, he probably would have been in a coma. He hadn't taken that much damage. Oh, he, in fact, he showed up at the press conference afterwards in good spirits. I guess he should. Shit. But <laughs> how much I had the, rep, the referee counted your ass out? You're supposed to be. You he didn't be count that. him out. He, he was standing. He, he stepped in and stopped the fight. He wasn't. He never even knocked him down. Yeah, he couldn't even hardly stand up on his own. Oh, yeah. He was a guy that was, a, what is it, 170 pounds and got marched down by a guy that was 100. About 142 pounds. It seems to me uh, now the the judges. You know, we saw the scorecards afterwards. Two of them had it ridiculously in favor of Floyd, eight rounds to one or whatever. But it was clearly a very very close fight. Uh, some had a five to four count, or some four to five or five to four for Floyd. Do you think more was maybe who a, had it? That? Who had a what? What you just said. Plenty of people had it. Connor we talking about the people. We talking about the judges. No. Well, what the exactly, judges have? Huh? What the judges have? Oh, so so all judges are correct all the time. What did one judge? No, they're the only one that count. What did Canelo and? They're the only one that count. Oh, so so four, one fourteen to one fourteen was fair on Canelo and Floyd. It wasn't fair, but still they counted. Oh, so so they couldn't take it away. So you have no problem with that with that score then? I don't have no problem only he won. Beside that point, anyway, it looks Put like that maybe sleep. was was Robert Byrd trying to maybe save the integrity of boxing because it wouldn't look good if it went the distance or God forbid. Uh, Connor was given that decision. No. <laughs> what thing you did? Connor has was dead tired. And don't get me wrong, and I don't know how much time was left in that round, but I know that if we were to keep taking shots that, you know, something probably could have, you know, really happened bad. And um, and that ain't necessary. Well, all due respect to Floyd, it's not like he's in there fighting you know, uh, George Foreman or Ernie Shavers. Well, I think you let him finish. Kind of, kind of swallowed a lot of fucking right hands, a whole bunch of them. I don't care if Floyd can punch or Floyd can't punch. And like I said, obviously he can punch if he knocked his ass out. I, I think and even if he knocked his ass out, and not only that, he marched him down. He draw. He he walked straight to him. Didn't even use his defense that he has. Just walked to him and just beat his ass. But you said it yourself, though. It was more of a case of Connor being tired than Floyd knocking him out. And I think Connor could have gotten out the last. Well, that's his fucking fault. Rounds. He got tired, ain't it? And you know you. That you, ain't Floyd's fault. And you mentioned not using his defense. He got tired because he got tired because Floyd kept that pressure on him. You had said that Floyd didn't use his defense. Was it the fact that Floyd didn't use defense or? The awkward angles and the, and the different skills it that Connor that shit. were something that Floyd's never seen before and had trouble dealing with it. Yeah, how much trouble did he have? Well, especially like I said, the first three rounds, he couldn't how get How much trouble off. did he have? He clearly had a lot of trouble. Was, well, he showed he knocked his ass. At least four did he rounds. knock him out? <laughs> did he knock him out? Uh, I think it was an early stoppage, but uh, that's fuck what that shit. On paper. It was yeah, a technical knock, knockout. Technical right. Yeah, well, I'll give fucking all count for the, the win. One particular moment in the, in the final round, in the ninth round, uh, Connor hit him with a vicious body shot. You did? He clearly hurt Floyd. I ain't seen that bullshit. <laughs> you didn't either. Floyd, no. <laughs> you the only one that seen it. Floyd complained it was a low blow. Oh, that's um, some bullshit. He did hit him low. I, I, it was very subjective. I, I, <laughs> yeah, it was subjective. Me. Hit him damn near on his fucking kneecap. I think it was more like he was maybe trying to buy some time because he didn't expect a shot coming that hard and, and from that angle. Yeah. <laughs> I think that. I think I think all that shit got taken care of the next round, didn't it? Well, again, I yeah, cause early, early stoppage. I, I early stoppage. Went, uh, were you surprised at how how well Connor, you know, did for himself and gave you know he went ten rounds, could have went more with uh, you know TBE. Well, fuck no, I ain't surprised. I mean, see, Floyd could take his ass out anytime he wanted to. If Floyd wanted to be, if Floyd wanted to do, if Floyd wanted to do what he really wouldn't normally do. When he make a guy miss, make a guy no. He wanted to show them people. He wanted to show. He wanted to get the fans their money worth. And that's why I took him ten. By standing there, there, yeah. Well, the motherfucker weighed 170 pounds, didn't he? And he supposed to be tough. You, you, you the motherfucker say he get kicked in the head. Well, he didn't get hurt by Floyd. He, he obviously, tired. obviously, he must got kicked in the motherfucker head with a fist. <laughs> uh, bottom line, you know, is there? 
I'd what? love to see a rematch in the cage. We know if it came to a fight, Floyd would have no chance. Any chance, any amount of money could get Floyd to go in the cage and see if he can hang with Conor there? Why? Another three hundred million. You don't need payday. that shit. What if it's three hundred million dollars again? Who we'll need it? No, he didn't need three hundred million dollars this time. Yeah, he needed it this time. I think he's more scared that if he goes into Conor's world in a real fight. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, he, he wouldn't last. Don't get me wrong. Realistically, I, th I think that if he did go into Conor's world. He at least have a chance because he can not hit Conor standing up, and he'll do better than Conor standing up. But if Conor get a chance to kick him in his leg or anything like that, well, we saw how many times during the fight Conor was able to clinch and get get his back. So if that was a the cage, he'd have taken him right yeah. down and choked him out. Yeah, that's some bullshit. All that fucking grabbing and slapping bullshit. <laughs> that shit with no real punches. Well, we'll see. So any ch so no chance when we see him in the cage. Huh? No, nah, no chance in the cage. Whipped his ass. Going off on his, you know, riding off in the sunset, man. But in a real fight. The TBE, the best ever, man. My nephew. Right, we'll I see. love it. God damn it. <laughs>